I remember when I was a little kid, my mom was a great developer in my life. She was a great manager. I remember I came to my mom and I said, hey mom, I want a drum set. I, I've been working really hard. I, I, I've been practicing a lot. I want a drum set. And my mom said, okay, I'll tell you what. We'll get you a drum set when you get your grades up. Right, a great developer in my life. It was kind of the carrot and stick mentality. You get your grades up, we'll help you get a drum set. My dad heard this whole conversation. He's in the other room. I go walking by the computer room. My dad's like, psst, click, psst, come here, come here. I know she said that, oh, all the stuff about the grades and everything. But he pulled me over to where he, all of his CDs were. And my dad took out a CD by the band named Rush. And he said, son, listen, I want you to take this and I want you to learn it. This drummer's name, his name is Neil Pert. He will change your life. And then he said, no, wait, 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 hold up. And he, he goes up to the other shelf and he grabs a CD by the band named Def Leppard. And he said, son, you learn how to play Pour Some Sugar On Me, I'll love you forever. And it's kind of that, that funny story of development versus advocating, right? And how my mom wanted to develop me. She wanted me to do better in school, but my dad also knew that I had a dream. And he advocated for that. So the whole, the whole keynote is mentorship versus management. And it helps leadership to understand how can, I, how can I focus on people, not just the organization? How can I really advocate for my employees, not just develop them? That mentorship over management, that is something unique and something we were looking for. There are a number of speakers out there, and he clearly is one of the best that we could have brought in to talk to our CEOs uh, at our convention. When leadership learns how to adapt traits of mentorship versus just management, everything changes. Retention increases, engagement increases, you create lasting loyalty from your people. I would have them again. I would have them again um, with the same audience. I would have them again. So if you're thinking about it, just do it. As a professional speaker, I don't come in and just deliver the one hour keynote. We create an experience with your organization where we literally link arms with the company to create lasting change. And we do that in three ways. The first way is the pre-speech consultation, where we do data-specific research through things like the Undercover Speaker Program that provides actionable ideas for your people. Clint's Undercover Speaker Program was a, was a wonderful surprise that nobody knew about. The best value of it was the authenticity of the feedback that we were able to get from our employees. And then number two is the keynote, where it's my job to entertain, engage, and educate your people and inspire them to invoke change within their own lives. We are so stuck in routine of life, and Clint has a way of opening up that box and challenging those habits that we have within that, within that routine. And then we had people who were visibly emotional. And so every employee was engaged, connected, they left motivated. We wouldn't have changed a thing. Clint was the, was the best thing that ever happened to us. And number three is the post keynote implementation with the Center for Employee Retention. This is where we come in and we work with your organization post keynote on the how to's. How do you implement? How do we keep the things that we talked about in the keynote alive? How do we create a movement that lasts? Imagine a workplace, a workplace where everybody feels respected, heard, cared for, understood. Imagine a workplace where everybody's seen. Imagine a workplace where everybody comes to work and they like themselves best because they're there. That's what it's about.